Welcome to Mercy's Designs. My name is Mercy and I demonstrate stamping up products. Today I would like to show you how I made this beautiful pinwheel card and it's sort of like a never-ending card so I will demonstrate. You can flip through it like this and it never ends. So and if you look at it down below it forms looks, looks like a pinwheel. So um, I got this I've been seeing these all over Pinterest these cards and I really decided this is it I'm going to make one and I came across Dawn Griffith's um, video tutorial on how to do this with the DSP as the center and the advantage of doing it that way is you have less bulk and it lies flat better so um, here are some of my measurements and I will be putting this information in the description so the stamp set I decided to use is Pretty Pumpkins and I used most of it. Now I won't show stamping or coloring because I think most of us know how to do that. It's mostly about how to assemble it, um, the card itself and create this fun fold. So I also used a lot of the detailed dies for it. So to get started you will need something to score and here is my um, trimmer slash score so I just want to get it into view and what I will do is this is four and a quarter by four and a quarter and I will start scoring it and obviously since it's a square it doesn't matter which direction unless your paper is directional and then you do want to be more concerned about this so I just scored it one inch two inches three inches and finally four inches so just like that so now it's a matter of burnishing those score lines so a bone folder is helpful with this and the side that will show mostly is the center because that's what's going to be inside so this is just a very little score line there. Let's make sure I got it here. Okay, so there's several ways to go about this. I like doing it like this. So you'll need, I like using liquid glue, but obviously you could use a different type of glue if you prefer that. So um, the key here is not to use too much, but enough obviously to secure it because we don't want it oozing. So just enough. Okay, so there we go. Now, one of the things I found is I'm careful with my scoring to do it on, but I found that it wasn't like it didn't, sometimes it doesn't like work all directions. So if that happens, you can just kind of correct it because it's a really soft paper. So I see a bit of a lip here. So again, um, if you have that, just trim it up a little because obviously we don't want it. okay so now it should be good we now have our tower built now this card is just like <laughs> kind of ridiculously easy <laughs> so I'll bring my instructions back here so the next thing is you will want four I mean right here you'll want two and three fourths by four and a quarter and I'm using Misty Moonlight cardstock. So all you do here is you start building and I will speed up part of this because you can just watch it how it's going and fast but what I'm doing here is just doing it on the one inch part you want to build one at a time. So I'm just getting in here and I want to make sure that this has just a teeny bit of a, um, you can see a little bit of the color because if you go too far to the end, you want to still be able to have it um, turn correctly. So I will continue to add these.
Okay, so what I realized is I, um, it is a little better to add your DSP to your panels first and then attach it, but it really doesn't matter. You can fix it like I just did. It's fine. It's just a little simpler. So um, I'm going to determine which one I want where, I think I want this one to be where I start with my sentiment. So when, if you want to sign the card, I suggest having one of these as just um, kind of, you know, blank more or less, so you can sign it. Um, you don't have to have a ton of space to write. Alternatively, you could make one of these panels your starting point and have for writing if you want more area to write a note, a personal note. So what I'm gonna do is just now add these pieces of DSP. And this is what I consider the backside of those pinwheels. And it's just really fun to be able to decorate those too. And then that helps give that illusion of a never ending card. So you could do a more variety of colors of the DSP, but I'd like to keep it fairly simple. So the emphasis is more on the decorating and my die cutting. So I already, as I was saying, stamped ahead of time. So what I have here are, is everything I'm gonna add to it. And I pretty much used every single um, stamp in this set. So, but I didn't use other stamp sets with the exception of the thank you, which obviously you can find that pretty much anywhere, this thank you. That was from um, Peaceful Cabin. But again, it wasn't a major stamp, if you know what I mean. So very easy if you want to, you know, use it from a different stamp set. It does have a thank you, so thankful for you in here as well. But I thought, you know, it doesn't hurt to say thank you more than once, right? Okay, so what I have here now is I'm just going to start decorating and I will, again, speed up this because you can definitely observe what I'm doing. It's so cute though. Okay, so we're back to the start. I did want to explain a little bit about this um, die cut. And it is, okay, so here are the die cut, the, the dies, I mean. And it's just one image that will do this outline. But what I found is it's very simple to take it, take your die and just trace it. So I just trace it all around and then I simply fussy cut it out and then erase the pencil marks. And then I die cut the other piece over it. So you can see with my original, I did it the reverse. So I don't know which one you like better. Both are pretty cute, I think. So I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you have any stamping needs, email me at mewants3 at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help you place an order with a host code um, and happy stamping.